Currently in private beta, Skitch offers a great way to share images and ideas with friends or colleagues online. Though there are many possibilities for this service, the most obvious is to be able to take snapshots of web pages, annotate them, and distribute them in a variety of ways. As you can see, taking a snapshot is as easy as hitting the snap button and dragging a box to capture the area you'd like to display. From there, you can drag the bounding box to either crop your image or give yourself a little bit more room. Then you can use any of the tools in the sidebar to customize your image. Adding text is easy, because you don't even need to use any of the tools in the sidebar. Just start typing, and your text is displayed. To move the text where you want it, click and drag on the handle. Skitch also offers a variety of ways to save your image. To save it to your desktop, simply hold down the Drag Me tab and drag it there. Clicking the Save button saves it to your default Skitch folder in your Pictures directory. You can also undo any action, wipe an annotation away, or clear the entire image to give you a blank slate to work with. You can also use Skitch for more than just screenshots. Pressing the Cam button instead of the Snap button opens your webcam or built-in iSight camera, basically giving you an annotatable version of Photo Booth. The process for marking up your webcam images is the same as it is for screenshots. Once you're happy with your image, you're going to want to share it, because that's really the whole point of Skitch, and Skitch offers a variety of ways to do so. One way is to use the web post button at the bottom of the Skitch window. Pressing it automatically uploads your image to your own personal My Stitch web page. Once it's finished uploading, click Share to bring up a page with links and HTML you can use to embed the picture in a website or point people to it online. Your personal My Stitch web page also archives all your images in one place. If you'd rather not upload your pictures to the web, you might be interested in Skitch's built in email integration. Just drag down from the Advanced Options button and click Mail This Image. A new mail message opens with your image displayed in the body. I've only been playing with Skitch for a couple hours, but I can already think of many productive uses for it. I only hope the time I waste playing with it doesn't negate all of them.